Hey, good morning. It's uh, Saturday, the 13th of March, and this is the Mediocre Morning Wrap-Up Program. Coffee in hand. Just so you guys can see, it is coffee. The wacky way I act, sometimes you have to wonder if it's a distilled spirit or something. And it's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. Kindergarten cop, I think it was. Arnold. Arnold talk like this, he's funny. Okay, anyway. That's what we call, in the, in, in, in the business, we call that a filler. Because I ain't got much for you today. We're going to make it an NBA-centric program. Um, the Rockets. And if you look online, uh, you can see footage from last night's game where he literally was dressed like seven players. There are so many injuries. This coach I feel so bad for. He's got nothing. There's nothing there. He's going he's going up against quality opposition almost every night with nothing. It doesn't matter how well you coach and you got seven guys. Um, if I'm an opposing coach, I'm going to run and gun. I'm going to take their legs out. He can't substitute. And he doesn't. Ha he didn't have a quality bench as it was. <laughs> now he's just got guys that can fill chairs. They are in deep trouble in Houston. Um, they lost their fifteenth game in a row last night, and it's a pr it's a proud franchise. It's been a long time since they won a championship, and it's going to be a very long time before they're even in the conversation. Um, but that coach deserves better. He just does. Um, his dad was a good quality coach. Um, you know, Paul Silas was a really good coach. He was he was very underrated as a coach. Um, so this this his his progeny will do will do well also. But he, he has been put into a spectacularly bad situation. Um, and as a as a coach, my heart just hurts for him. And when I when I saw that. It's one thing to lose a bunch of games, but to just not even have enough troops. It's just like, good Lord. <laughs> and he'll be judged on his record. It's wrong. It just is. Just like it was wrong with Ryan Saunders earlier in the, early in the season. I'll digress. I'm not really a digress kind of guy. You ever get that feeling? Boy, you know. Other item from the NBA last night in uh, in the Sixers' uh, fourth straight victory as they cling to the Eastern Division, the Eastern Conference lead by a game over the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Joel Embiid took a very difficult uh, landing on it looked like a Euro step he was doing. Um, came down very awkwardly on his knee, his his left knee. It looked really bad. Um, MRI came back negative though. He has a deep bone bruise, um, which they're projecting will have him out for two to three weeks. Will this get get them out of the playoffs? No, no. They're they're still a good team, but it could lose them a top seed, or or maybe might even drop them to third or fourth. In, in my estimation, it's going to be very difficult. Now, when I've talked about who the MVP should be, I didn't put him in that conversation, and that was kind of wrong. Um, I don't think he is the MVP, though. There are other weapons on that team. I still say Joker is your MVP, and I still say Doncic is number two. Uh, but Embiid is, a, is right there. I mean, quite frankly, if any of the three won, I wouldn't get up and go, What you talking about, Willis? Or something like that. Or maybe not have a high voice, like, like my voice just broke. Um, but I would be, I would be okay with it. Um, maybe the sports writers get it wrong sometimes, but, but I think any of the three are quality MVP. Notice LeBron's not in that group. He shouldn't be, quite frankly. I mean, he's played a lot of minutes. He's in top five. He gets, he gets the MVP. It's wrong. Wrong. Because look at what they've done without Davis. They've stumbled. He should be able to carry that team. 
Joker doesn't have that much around him. And Doncic doesn't have that much around him. Okay? And when they're out of the lineup, the team crumbles. So, LeBron, LeBron's a transcendent talent. He's one of the all-time greats. He's not the GOAT. Um, but we will have that conversation another time. But he's he's a transcendent talent. I don't take anything away from him. And he got he probably got jobbed last year. But I don't think he's the MVP this year. He's in the conversation, but he, as he always is. But I don't think you can give it to him. Um, but that's just that's just me. All right. So I filled the frame today. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the ringy dingy, say all, get all that, get all that goodness. Don't miss a drop. And uh, share, because sharing is caring. Peace.